Hi folks, been a while. Uh, this is going to be just a van uh, modification video. I'm going to be fitting this new Alpicool fridge because this one that's in I've had a few issues with. It's just not been cooling right. It's like the compressor's been coming on for like 10 seconds and then just going off and then coming on again and then going off. It's, uh, and it's not been uh, maintaining temperature very well. Uh, so I'm going to replace it with this Alpicool one. I've had other issues with this fridge as well so it's not really worth getting it fixed. First off, it's really quite small. Uh, it's supposed to be 45 litres, but a lot of that isn't even usable space. So you've got the uh, freezer, which I don't always need. Just sometimes keep ice packs in that. And then this space up here, can't even fit anything in that space. Um, the door's not too bad. Uh, then here, obviously you've got that space there that's taken up by the door. Uh, and then anything I put on this shelf, when I open the door after I've been driving, just falls off. Uh, I can fit a large milk bottle in there, but only if I flip the disc over. So it's not been, it's not been a bad fridge, but it's not been the, the best. Um, so, so I figured rather than get this fixed, I, I would get one that's a bit more more suitable. So I picked up this Alpicool. So this here is the new fridge. So it's a very stylish looking fridge with a uh, brushed uh, stainless steel front. I quite like that. Uh, it's got a display up the top which shows you, uh, as far as I know, it will show freezer temperature and uh, fridge temperature. Maybe other settings as well. Uh, I also like this, the fact that it's got this handle that you have to lift up to open the door. The other one just had a little silly catch thing that didn't always catch and sometimes you were driving along and all of a sudden all your coleslaw was all over the back of the van because the door just popped open. Uh, not a great thing. Uh, so yeah, you just got to lift that up to open the door. And then inside, you can see a couple of shelves in the door and up the back there so much deeper even though it takes up the same amount of space because on the other one you come to the back the other one there just just has a compressor sticking out the back and nothing else whereas this has got this whole extra section of fridge there whereas it's taking up the same space because you've got to allow for the compressor uh, but this has got this all this extra space for, like basically from there to there all the way back so it's so much deeper this also has you see there, has a light, which the other one didn't have. The freezer compartment goes all the way across. Uh, probably just as deep. But one thing you can do with this, is just take, a, take out the freezer compartment completely and just use it all as a fridge. Which is a, a good idea if you're not needing any freezer space. Right, so now for the confusing bit, this is a... Right, it's got this shelf here which I've put up there, but I'm not sure it's supposed to go there because all the pictures show this shelf higher up, same for that there yeah so in all the documentation this is how it's set up so what I like is this shelf has got this thing to stop stuff falling off the front which is pretty amazing, so there's this one here and then you've got the salad crisper, or what's so there's a salad crisper door, which is there, it's got all magnetic catches at the side, so that'll stop stuff falling out. Yeah, so no one's really mentioned in any of the videos I've seen is the fact that this shelf on the salad crisper, the way it's set up like that, doesn't go all the way to the back. You've got a hole there, which isn't really accessible for anything if you've got the other shelf in like it shows in the pictures. So yeah, that's just a bit of an oddity. I think I will use it the way I had it set up originally with that up the top all the way back there and this just over the salad crisper like so and yeah, I'll probably keep the uh, freezer compartment in mostly, I don't know I kind of like that space for not having the freezer compartment in because that will fit milk bottles straight up there and uh, I can fit various stuff in the door. 
So yeah, I'm looking forward to getting it put in. I'm not going to do that today because it's quite a intensive job to uh, take that cupboard out. So the new fridge dimensions are just about the same. Um, so it should physically fit into this uh, cupboard in the exact same way. I shouldn't have to make any real modifications to the uh, hole that it fits into. But I will have to take that cupboard out because I've fastened this in uh, from the back with L brackets. So I'll need to just pull that cupboard out and just remove it and refit the new one. Alright, so that's it. I'll get it installed. I'll bring this all back uh, on another video uh, to say how I'm getting on with it. So I want to test it a bit before saying if it's uh, good or not, but uh, hopefully it is. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.